And Guardian Angels founder and WABC radio host Curtis Lee Wallace, a former Republican candidate for New York City mayor. Curtis, I don't know what kind of an environment these lawmakers thought they were walking into this morning, but they must have been pretty poorly briefed by staff to willingly head into the middle of that. Well, I got to let you know, you're going to expect more of that. I'm the leader of the rebels. I'm not the politician who goes out and gives speeches or the lawyers who go into court to seek uh, preliminary injunctions against migrant centers. We're going to tie this city up in knots. They have allowed an illegal invasion into our city, our state, and our country. Politicians only give speeches. So you're seeing the rage of people. And what AOC, look at her on her face. AOC, all out crazy, Alexandria Ocasio. Cortez, who encourages this invasion, who stopped Amazon from providing good paying jobs to Americans. She's talking about the need for illegals to work. She was stunned because in that crowd, she saw moderate Democrats, not just Republicans and independent. The rage has spread, and these elected officials thought that we're all just sheep, sheep going, eh, 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 eh. They can forget about that. We're coming after all of them. Every last one of them who supports illegal aliens invading America, who we don't know, we know nothing about, at the borders, they're going to pay a price at the ballot box. Curtis, take a listen to a New York City resident earlier today. His name's David. We'll get your response on the other side. I have family members waiting seven long years in Colombia. They filed legal petitions. What message are you sending to the world? Break the law. Come. We give you everything free. When you talk about this invasion at a systemic level, who are you talking about specifically? We're talking about all those first-generation immigrants who had to wait online, as David said, who are patiently abiding by the rules, many of whose family members are still back in their country of origin. Can you imagine how they feel? that all of these people that we don't even know get to jump the queue, they haven't been vaccinated, no medical checks, they haven't been invaded, and then our elected officials in sanctuary states and cities, by the way, there are no laws that say you're a sanctuary city or state, call ICE thugs, demean them, won't let them cooperate with police and the criminal justice system. They bend over backwards for the illegals and expect us to suck at taxpayers to pay the bill. Well, it ain't happening anymore. We need ICE. We need border security. We need closed borders. And we need to change the political status of those who declare sanctuary cities and sanctuary states for illegals. In the meantime, we have veterans in the street, mostly African Americans. They live in the parks, in the subways, in the streets. Many of them have emotionally disturbed issues. They get nothing. They have to show up at a shelter. There's a curfew. Illegal aliens, there's no curfew. They get to smoke weed, drink sex. Cerveza at taxpayers' expense, ride up and down the streets on motorbikes, investments. Where did they get the money for this? Americans are outraged, Democrats, Republicans, and independents. And AOC, she doesn't understand that because the princess is never out in the streets anymore. She's up in the street suites getting wine dined and pocket lined. Uh, all right, Curtis, uh, thanks for taking time with us. Uh, this, this afternoon, this is, we're going to leave it there. This is just the beginning of many more actions to come. You watch. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.